We are going to get ready to start in a few minutes, but it is a cloudy day here in Alabama. So we're hoping that the rain is finally stopped. Good morning, everyone. Joanne Brown back here with you for the last day of the five day Spring Forest everyday practice. Well, last day for me. Um, it will continue next week. And I have some exciting news for you. I'm going to introduce the speaker for next week. And I know you're all going to be happy. She is a Spring Forest healer, she is an instructor. She works at the Spring Forest Healing Center, and she is an orchid grower. She can actually grow live orchids, which to me is a talent. So I am introducing your next leader for next week, Rong Lee, and you will have a wonderful week. I know you will have a wonderful week. And I've had a wonderful week here, and I thank everybody for the nice comments. So let's get started and we'll start the way I always start my practices, which is with the three vows. And the three vows, first one is to acknowledge the tradition of Qigong and the lineage of Spring Forest Qigong. Second bow is to unite the lights in our upper, middle and lower Dantian. So we practice as one whole unit, a whole being. And the third bow is to acknowledge and thank one another for practicing together and the Spring Forest community for allowing us this platform to practice. May our practice be a benefit to all living beings and to the Mother Earth herself. And I'd like to add, if we could just take a minute and just send as a community our love and our healing intentions to the people in Turkey and Syria who have experienced uh, earthquake and to the rescue workers and aid workers who are going there. Let's just, let's just send our hearts and our love to that part of it and hope for quick healing in their lives. Now we stand in the beginning of the universe posture. So our feet are planted firmly on the ground. Our shoulders are relaxed. Arms are a little bit away from the side of the body with the palms facing backward, fingers spread apart and a little bit of space in between the fingers. So you're not standing with any energy channels closed. You pull your chin back in and you visualize that your head is suspended from the ceiling by a string. Your knees are not locked, your hips are not locked, but you are firm and solid in your stance. So in this posture, you can connect your tongue to the roof of your mouth, put the tip of the tongue right behind the two upper front teeth and smile. And when you smile, you unlock your heart, you open it up, you start your internal love engine, you allow the brain to release endorphins and you open up all the energy channels in your cheeks. So many things with one simple smile. Start to bounce from the knees, keeping the tongue attached to the roof of the mouth. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and let your body dictate the rate and rhythm of your bounce. When you bounce, let go of anything that's not serving your body. Let go of any emotion, maybe any little ache or pain that you really don't need to hang on to. Let it go back to the universe and just become lighter and happier and freer with your bouncing. Keep the smile and keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
and I forgot to introduce myself, but I am Joanne Brown, and I am a certified trainer and group practice leader. Better late than never. Now raise your arms up over your head and allow your wrists to pick up the vibration from the bouncing of your knees. We are waking up energy channels called meridians throughout our body. And you may feel it. You may feel energy running down your arms or coming up from your feet up through the legs. If you feel like turning with the bouncing, you can do that. You just listen to your body. Now allow the arms to float down to your shoulder height and fold in and just start to rotate gently. This helps the spine and it also helps to circulate energy. Work your arms down. And when you get to waist level, stretch out. Give yourself a little bit wider turn. And then come back to your beginning of the universe posture and scan again. See if there's anything inside that you might want to work on today and just know how you're feeling now. And then we'll do some tapping to open up some more energy channels. So tap nine times on the cheekbones. Just give nine times to open up the stomach channels. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times in between the eyebrows to open up the bladder channel. Cut the top of the head nine times by waypoint, that's yang energy. And then cup the back of the head just to start stimulating the brain energy. Nine. And then we go to the back of the neck and we find that large cervical vertebrae at the base of the neck. C7, massage around C7 nine times. You can go clockwise. Two. Seven, eight, nine, and then clap nine times. Heart channel. Cut the inside of the left elbow nine times. Inside of the right elbow nine times. Lift the left arm, up the armpit. Right arm. And then lean forward and with loose fists, tap your tailbone. I always do two, two sets. So nine, loose fists, and lean forward so you don't jar your spine. And then I go the other way and I do nine more. Don't ask me why I do that. I have no idea. And then roll your fingers over your thumbs and tap your hips. So guess what? Nine times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we cup our knees, we cup the front, nine. Back, nine. Side of the left, nine. And side of the right, nine. And then I like to just roll up on the ball of my foot and rock back nine times. Don't do this if you're pregnant. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, now let's go back to the beginning of the universe posture and scan again. I like to close my eyes at this time, scan from the top of my head to the bottom of my torso, bottom of my feet, and just see if there's anything in me that I want to work on today. And that can include emotion. So if you're feeling something that you would like to get rid of, just, just note it. And we can put it in the intention for our practice today. And now we prepare to go into the emptiness. 
So we're still standing in the beginning of the universe posture. We're no longer breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. It's no nasal breathing in and out. And we are going to try to achieve the state of the relaxation that they call song, where you're just in this in-between. You're here, but you're not here. You're not distracted by your body and you're not distracted by your mind. So this is the time when we clear the mind of any chatter that may be up there. You can visualize that you're wiping the chatter clean with an eraser or a windshield wiper. The last couple of days I was using my magic chopstick, which I don't know what I did with, but anyway, just clear the mind, relax the body. You're stable. You're like a pine tree, you're solid, but you're just relaxed enough that the energy vibrations can move through your body freely. And now we say the password. I am in the universe, the universe is in my body, the universe and I combine together. And then we call upon the energy of a master or an energetic source that we want to help us with our practice today. And we just visualize that energy standing right behind us and merging chi fields with ours. Sometimes when you call upon a presence to come and practice with you, they can help you get more from your practice. You can go into the universe and get what you need with the help of the master's energy or divine energy or just the the energy of a loved one. Tell the universe what you need now. Just tell them what you need and then we'll let it go. And then focus on that beautiful light that you have in the lower Dantian. See that light glowing like a soft candle light? Just breathe, take three breaths. And when you breathe in this time, pull your abdominal muscles towards your spine and start mixing the yin and yang energy. So just inhale, pull in and exhale, release. And inhale, pull in and exhale, release. And one last time, inhale and exhale. Now today, I would like to do a brief review of all the movements that we have done this week with special emphasis on the last movement, which is connecting to your heart energy, AKA the gratitude. So we'll start with the moving of yin and yang. If you place your left hand in front of your lower dantian, the right hand in front of your heart center. Visualize that you have a column of light going from the top of your head to the bottom of your torso. And we're going to rotate our arms. Our right arm comes out and down. You can drop your knees a little. The left arm comes up. You inhale as you drop down and you exhale as you rise up. Try to lead the movement from the elbows, fingers spread apart. Visualize the color green. So we're working with the liver, all bladder, tendons and ligaments, and the eyes. The element is wood. Season is spring. The color is green. And the emotion we bring here is happy. Just enjoy the movement. See that column of light moving up and down. Feel it, feel the energy.
Now we'll do five more. So visualize that you're in a deep green sea and go slow. And as you finish the movement, women place the right hand in front of the lower dantian, left hand on the outside, men the opposite, left hand goes in, right goes out, three breaths in. Don't forget to go out. And then hold your energy ball in front of the lower dantian. You are going to separate it, bend your knees a little, Keep the tongue attached to the roof of the mouth, separate the fingers. Inhale, pull the energy ball out, and exhale, let it come in. Two more times. In, out. In, and out. And now we drop our knees. So inhale, drop the knees, pull the energy ball apart, and exhale, rise up. We're working with fire element, the color red or pink, and the emotion that we bring in here is joy. We're working with the heart and the pericardium and the thyroid and the triple heaters and the blood. Enjoy the movement. Slow it down, five more, slow. Shake your arms out. If you're getting any tension building up in the shoulders, let it go. Plant your feet firmly on the ground. You can visualize that you're growing roots into the ground. And bend a little, the knee a little bit and then spread your fingers apart and plug those fingers right into the clouds. You are the connecting between heaven and earth. So we just finished the summer season with the fire element. So now this one goes maybe the last 10 days of the summer season. It doesn't really have an assigned season. The color is yellow. Inhale, drop your knees. Exhale, rise up. The color is yellow, and the emotion that we bring in here is the feeling of being peaceful and grounded. We're working with the stomach, the spleen, the pancreas, the joints, the muscles, and the lips. We just enjoy the feeling, feel the energy. Five more, so go slow. Two 
float your arms down. And we'll just do a few cloud hands just to relax our shoulders. So just inhale, send your left arm out. Grab a wisp of a cloud and pull it back. Inhale, right arm pulls down. Two more times. Inhale, pull from the left very gently. And then the right. And the left. And then the right. And then make prayer hands in front of your heart center. We're going to do the movement connecting to your body's energy. Flip your prayer hands down. We did this one yesterday. So I think you all know, you've got to step out a little wider than shoulder width apart. You inhale, you shift 70% of your weight to your left leg. And as you exhale, you hold it for a count of three. And then as you exhale, you shift 70% of your weight to your right leg. I do not stop in the middle. I just keep the slow rhythmic movement. The thing that you don't want to go really fast, you don't want to really go like, you want to just enjoy the movement. So we're working with the color white. The season is fall. The organs are the lungs, the large intestine, and the skin and the accessory organs for breathing. So you can put your nose and your sinuses in there. This also helps the lower body organs and also works with the yin energy center at the bottom of the torso. And the feeling that we bring in here is the feeling of We'll do five more, go slow. And as you come to the end of this movement, step in, bring your heart, hands back to prayer center, heart center, put a little pressure on the tips of your fingers, and we'll do the last movement, which is concerned with the kidney system. And it goes with the season of winter, and the color is dark blue or black. And the positive emotion that we bring in here is gratitude. And you know, back. Back in the day, and I'm talking about like 106 to 43 BC, or I guess they call it now BEC, uh, Cicero, who was a Roman statesman, said, gratitude is the greatest of all the virtues and the parent of all the others. So we bring gratitude in and what I'm gonna do is give you some things. You notice when I was talking, I didn't say anything negative. So now I'm gonna bring in the negative emotions and we're going to thank the negative emotions and then say, but we don't need you anymore. <laughs> so let's just take a bow. We're gonna bow from the waist, 30, maybe 30 degrees. You don't have to go down very, very far. This movement helps our kidneys. It helps our bones, it helps our bone marrow. Uh, it also works with the brain and the breasts and the reproductive organs, but it also works with your male energy points at the top of your head. So just inhale and bend forward. And let's just say, 
thank you to anger. Anger, and we know that with anger, sometimes the real name for anger is grief. But anger is a defense mechanism. So we say thank you to anger for telling us that we can defend ourselves. And the next vow we inhale and we say, thank you to happiness for being able to displace anger. And the next vow we say, thank you to hatred. Hatred usually stems from ignorance and lack of understanding. Thank you for showing us that we need to learn why we have this life. And then we bow again and we say, thank you to joy for allowing us to displace anger. And then we bow again and we say, thank you to worry and anxiety, which usually stems from feeling of maybe lack of confidence or not feeling secure. We bow again and we say thank you to peace and groundingness for allowing us to displace worry and anxiety. And then we bow again and we say thank you to grief and sadness for showing us that we can feel. And then we bow again and we say thank you to the feeling of contentment that allows us to accept where we are right now in this place and in this time. And then we bow to the feeling of fear. And we say, thank you to fear for trying to protect us. And we bow to gratitude and we say, thank you to gratitude for helping us to displace fear. And then we say to all the negative emotions, thank you for being with me, but I don't need you anymore. You're in my way, so please leave. And then we say thank you to all the positive emotions for allowing us to heal. And now you do two more on your own, quiet. And as you finish the movement, go back to the beginning of the universe posture, visualize the light in the lower Dantian. See that light starting to spin? Let it get faster and brighter and smaller and faster and brighter and smaller. And when it reaches the size of an energy tablet, you tuck it right behind your navel. And then rub your hands together. We're gonna do a real short soothing. Rub your hands together, make your heart shake three times on your face, pat your head front to back, run your fingers through your scalp, massage your ears three times, and then cup the back of your head nine times. That's an abbreviated soothing because we did all the exercises. Now I do have one more quote for you and it's a good one. And this is an amazing thing. This was written by a 10-year-old girl back in 1910. She was a poet. She actually had her first book of poetry published when she was 10 years old. So that was published in 1920, because, you know, 10 and 10, 1910, they had 10 is 20. So her name was Hilda Conkling. And we were working with the water element when we, what we just did worked with the water element. And so... This is what Hilda Conkling, 10-year-old Hilda Conkling, said about water. The world turns softly not to spill its lakes and rivers. The water is held in its arms, and the sky is held in the water. What is water that pours silver and can hold the sky? Thank you for being with me this week. And have a wonderful week next week, and I'm very grateful to have had this opportunity. Thank you.